Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your private email account. Now your privacy is getting more and more compromised by larger corporations and even hackers. And so if you give them loads of your personal information such as your name, birthday, where you even live or even your credit or debit card, well then that information can be exposed or even sold to someone else and then you are the target and ending up with all the spams and phishing mails. So therefore looking into privacy projects is really important especially nowadays. And so setting up a private email account is one of the first steps that you can take. Now you could go ahead and just open your usual browser and then type in a private uh, email service and then go ahead and set up your account. However, I recommend going with one step further, downloading a private browser or working with a VPN that already can help you to hide your IP address so that it is like more difficult to track any like movement that you are doing. And so one example would be the Thor browser as you can see already right here and you can download it for the software that you are using. So go ahead, download it, install it, and then from there on, you're going to build your private email account. Now, another way would be with a private VPN, as for example, the Thor browser does not offer an application um, for the iOS. So in this specific case, using a VPN instead of the Thor browser is also an option. And then this would be, as an example, the North VPN, which again, I'm going to link both like links in the description box down below depending on which one you want to choose or maybe both. So once you're all set up and I'm going to go now with the Thor browser, you're going to open your Thor browser and you're going to look for a private email service. And one of them would be msgsafe.io. Again, I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. And this is now just one example as they do not ask you for any of your personal information. You can't just set up a random email address, which is great depending on for what purposes you want to use it. And so first of all, you need to click on sign up and then you need to come up with a username and then the recovery email, it says it's optional. We are going to leave this out as of now and then create your password and enter the verification and then click on sign up. So now it's going to ask to select a plan. Now they have a free version, which I recommend using if you just want to use this email service to receive emails and not really like use it for business or write emails where it can take loads of capacity, then going with the free option is great because then you do not need to give them any of your private like credit card or uh, debit card or bank account details. However, if you want to use it uh, for your personal choice or even because because you're running a business and you need more capacity, then of course you would go with the paid option. But keep it, the things in mind that you're going to leave some traces uh, about it when it comes to how you're going to pay with it. But in this case, I'm going to go with the free option. So select the free option if that applies to you as well. And now it's going to ask you to select a display name and then country of origin, um, come up with a name as well as then select a domain. Now you can go ahead and enter your details in it or just make something up or you can even go ahead and click on a do it for random and then it's going to just randomly come up with a name, uh, the country of origin and then select a mailbox address. So again, this is of course your choice of how you want to create this part. So that's now what I have entered. This is just an example. Once you're all set up, you're going to click on save changes. So once your mailbox is ready, you're going to click on next. So now your mailbox is ready and you can use it. Now, first of all, if you just want to use this uh, email to receive emails, well, then there you have it. You are ready to use it. You are ready to link it to certain like services that you want to use. And there you have it. However, if you also want to use this email to send someone an email, then you would need to click on compose. But 
Now it's going to ask you to confirm your email before you can send something with the MSG Safe Email Provider. And so in this case, you would click on Add Email. And so now it's going to ask you to enter a display name right here and an email address. Now it specifically on the bottom says that you can use an email address that's linked to your Gmail account, Outlook account, or it can be from another private mail server. Now, if you're concerned about your privacy, you wouldn't go with a larger corporation since they do ask for personal information about yourself. However, if you're going to like set up a second private email address with another provider they do not and ask you for anything uh, about yourself and then you can go ahead and use that email as a backup and so this is now what we are going to do now there are other private email services out there so go ahead with the one that you prefer in this case i'm just going to select a proton mail and then again you need to go through the process again where you're going to enter your username create a password to go through the entire process to sign up for a new account so if you're being new to it click on sign up then again, you're going to click on the free plan because we just want to use this email as a backup plan. And now it's going to ask you for username and password and then repeat it and then click on next. So now it's going to ask you to enter a recovery email. Now again, in this specific case, it's similar to the MSG safe provider. You would need to have a backup email, but the difference is with the MSG safe email provider, you are already in your inbox. Whereas with the proton mail, you aren't. So you cannot create or access your email account yet, unless you have given them a recovery email. So go ahead, go back to your MSG safe uh, email account and copy your address and then you're going to enter it right here and then click on next now you can do this with a phone number as well but if you're going to link it to your personal phone number again it's your personal information however there are certain websites where you can generate like a random number to, number to receive the code as well so it would be similar to what we just have done with a backup of a private email and now it's going to ask you to send the verification code with the email that you have provided. So click on get the verification code. Check your MSG inbox. There you have the verification code and just enter it. So now once you're all set up, you can enter your Proton email service. Now again, we want to keep the main focus on the MSG provider. So I'm just going to click on an email so that I can copy my address again. And I'm going to use that one as my confirmation email. So again, click on Compose so that the pop-up will be visible. Click on Add Email, enter your email create a display name and then click on next. Now go back to ProtonMail to get the confirmation and check your spam folder and there you have it. And then click for the confirmation. You can even just move it to your inbox and then click on this part right here. So, and once you have clicked on the link, it says that the email address is confirmed and then you can go back to the MSG and then there you have it. And so now your email account is ready to be used. You can receive and send emails without any issues. Now, if you should come across any issues with a Proton Mail service, well, there are other private email providers out there. I recommend going through them in your own time. The setup usually looks pretty much the same. Just make sure that you're not going to enter any of your personal information in it. Otherwise, I recommend moving on to the next one. And so there you have it. This is what I wanted to share with you. 
you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more how you can set up a VPN as well as if you're into crypto, how you can work with cryptocurrency, I'm going to put those videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.